First, we take a look at the current situation on Izu Oshima Island. Uh, the storm is now being observed in Izu Oshima Island, and you can see high waves hitting the breakwater, and spray splashes of waves are seen. And we've been showing you this scene a number of times, and the situation is uh, becoming even severe. At around 9.30, uh, there was a wind of about 130 kilometers per hour and the rain has been continuing from the morning. And now in Tokyo port, this is the current situation. And now the water level has surpassed the alert level in order to avoid the high uh, storm flood tide uh, water gates were closed. And here, this is Koto Ward. This is the Tatsumi Water Gate. And it has 12 uh, meters wide uh, gate, has been closed by remote control. And the Tokyo Prefect, Tokyo uh, government says that it will be on alert 24 hours around the clock until the water level decreases. This is Shinjuku Station, southern exit. The rain is becoming stronger and weaker, but then it is eventually growing. The wind is also uh, hard, and people are now um, giving up on um, using umbrellas now these days. They're just holding it. The other queue line is, is operating its express way, but has canceled many of the operations. JR also is, has canceled. A uh, woman in his per 50s was uh, is heading towards Shiozu, but now she came home and she's now trying to see a place, to find a place to stay in Tokyo. And JR uh, Expressway, Azusa and Kaisu may be canceled tomorrow morning. So uh, they're not now uh, stopping selling tickets for tomorrow morning's uh, train services. So far, 20 people have been reported injured in the typhoon in Shizuoka, Kanagawa, Tokyo, and Gunma. Window glasses were broken at a hotel in Okuniko, and several people were injured. In Shimada, Suzuka Prefecture, two women aged 80 and 93 fell and suffered broken bones. A 55-year-old man fell from a ladder and suffered a broken wrist.